You are watching Access LaPorte County Channel 97. Coming up next is the February 23rd meeting of the Michigan City Housing Authority Board of Commissioners. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. All right, it is February the 23rd, 2023. Um, I call this meeting in order, and everybody please rise for the pledge. Miss Hudson, would you let us please? I can't believe it's two to five. Alina, I guess it's eight. McCormick. Present. Michael Benson. Present. Stacy Benny. Present. Robert Looney. Present. And Tina Fly. Yay. Talani Reyna. And Jackson Looney Hay. We have a quorum. Next on the agenda. Um, approval of the regular board meeting minutes, January 26, 2023. Any discussion? Yes. Mr. Fly. Commissioner Fly. Um, January 26, 2023 minute meeting. Minutes, uh, this was the last board meeting, the exact last board meeting, right, that we discovered on January 26, just minutes from that meeting, correct, uh, an ED? Yes. Okay, uh, and then when we did have, uh, after this meeting, we did have an executive session, though, right? Um, this you referring to Tuesday? Yeah. Did Tuesday you guys, was a special meeting. Did you guys have an executive session before this meeting or after this meeting? We didn't have an executive session. What did you call one? you remember when I missed it? Point of order, we on the approval of the minutes. And this is um this is a regular well, I meeting. I need to get clarified when was the executive meeting. That's all. We had no executive meeting. I'm not asking you. We had no I'm executive meeting me either. Do you know when the last executive day, uh, meeting was? That's what I'm asking. Not at this time, I don't remember the last okay. day. So I'll Thank you for the answer. That's, that's, that's all I'm asking. Right. Right. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. I second. On the roll call, Ms. Sutton. Rodney McCormick. Aye. Michael Vincent. Aye. Stacey Benny. Aye. Robert Looney. Aye. And Kenneth Fly. Yeah, yeah. Do we have any communications, Ms. Sutton? Uh, we did have um, communication by, um, what is her name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline Stevenson. Yes. And um, she did write a letter to the board and myself, and then she came and met with us. But I think um, after meeting with her, we uh, got through everything that she was concerned about. Um, could you t inform the board of what? Uh, and a few things that she was concerned about was the Section 8 program, and she was also concerned that our website said that we were not open, but as you know, we are open to anyone that comes, and we work with any person that comes to the door. Um, like I say, we are open 8 to 4, and we are presently open full time, Monday through Friday. Any discussion? CNN. Next. Uh, next on uh, is reports, and I would like to introduce uh, the new finance person we have. Her name is Nikki Harvard. Welcome to the board, Nikki. Nice to Nikki. everybody. Yes. Okay. Uh, these are the board of commissioners, Nikki, and we uh, have a regular board meeting at least once a month. Uh, if you look in your packet, she did do a finance report. And it says the month end of January 2023. 
did have one question on this. Because there's a, there's a line that says electric and a line that says electricity. What's the difference? Why do we have two different lines? <clears throat> right there. Uh, on both pages, so on the first page, electric. there's one that says electric, and then there's on the second page, there's one that says electricity. Electricity is 17801, and electric was 121527. Mm -hmm. Uh, she it's might. Uh, the electric, the first electric that you're looking for, is under the MCHDI. Okay. So it's a separate thing. Yes. And then the other one is um, voucher program, correct? No, the other one is. Um, a public housing. Public housing. Yes. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? When it comes to maintenance, I have a question. I just want to know how much have we allocated? How much did we put in the budget for for maintenance for the last, for the fiscal year? Um, do you do you know? Well, at this time, I would have to look at the budget and get back with you. Um, I'm willing to get that information for you after the board meeting uh, once we can get this information. Oh. Okay, I've been having discussion with you about making the uh, the budget, the, the report that's been given to us, our financial report that we would like for it to show that with the, if, with the board's approval, um, what we budget out for for the, the beginning of the fiscal year, and every time we come in, we like to know how much of the how much of that budget has been uh, used. Uh, percentage wise okay. so when we're ready for our next budget we are we know what we're up against right and um, Nikki you want to let me know that you I, I started working on that today so will we have that for the next board meeting from the oh, forward it, it should be finished by then yes I don't see how it would all right, any questions, Mr. Yes, I just wanted to not lose track that we're we're still talking about a workshop to finalize a budget, we voted for a a budget. Um, what the terminology was, but just just to get a budget. I think it was the same budget we had last year, but we didn't work on a finalized budget. And as far as I know, no one at this board has seen the budget. And I know we've been talking about a workshop to come in, look over the budget, finalize it. The budget was given in October. But yes, but that was that was a budget that was not worked on. That was a budget that we had to meet a deadline. We didn't have time for a workshop. We didn't have time for discussion on the budget to arrange the the monies where they need to be as far as the board's concerned. So it, I feel like we still haven't had that workshop. So I and. and if, Nikki's here and she knows about how to work the budget and I think maybe she's into it and maybe we can get a workshop and she can help us and guide us through the budget so we all know what we're looking at not just to bring it and present right. it to us at a meeting. And Nikki is new to the housing budget so she is going to training for this budget, but um, I will get someone else that is more familiar to come to the board to present it. I thought we had a um, an audit um, an audit. The auditor, yes. Yes. That's part of the, today's thing. Okay, and then um, going back to October of last year, mm -hmm. where is you said it was a budget. Where is, can you provide us um, and it through, via email or whatever showing who signed, how we signed, people to sign off on the budget and so we can see what was allocated on our budget so we know what's going on? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For, um, yes, for this fiscal year going, yes, from um, October last year to now. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Any other discussions? Next one, Sadie. Director report. Okay. Um, yes. Um, 
Well, uh, we received that capital fund. That some of you all might have seen it in the paper that Michigan City got four hundred and eighty-four thousand uh, for our capital fund improvement for twenty twenty-three. So um, we will be. Um, you know, we have vacancies and we have needs according to our PNA, which we will have a workshop on that. Uh, so we will be addressing that needs with that. So I have a question. So those funds that were just awarded, um, and we talked about just the other day what our balance was uh, at the special meeting, which was six hundred and some thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So that's Add. Separate that's added into that. So remember that one, one in the special meeting, I told you we hadn't received this year's funds. Okay. So that we just received. Okay. So we're over a million dollars then. Yeah. Any other discussion on that? Yes. Commissioner Fly. It's the $1.2 million uh, that we uh, got back from the assessment. Will this money help uh, cover some of the costs on that? Yes. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's a long question. And the funds are a CFP, correct? Yeah, capital, capital fund pl plan. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Miss Evans. What's your what's your director's report? Um, also, we like I said, we now have a new finance person. Um, in Section Eight, I have hired a temporary person to help the Section Eight because we were still behind on some things, so we we're trying to catch up. So. Um, we have a new person that will be assistant section eight, and um, I will be having someone uh, come in next week. That will be we need to do our annual plan and our five year plan. That will be assisting me with that. So. Is this a contract or temporary? It's temporary. And how long is it? Temp how long is it? Temporary for? is normally ninety days. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions for in regards to that? Anything else we're citing? Um, no. I don't have anything else. <clears throat> Any questions for the director? Yes. Mr. Oh, Commissioner okay. Vincent. Let's go first. Mm -hmm. Another commission. Okay. Uh, just concerned in the packet, there is some incident report or, or lack of incident report and some calls from the Michigan City Police Department yes. in here. Thank you. So I just wanted to know about Stark Security. Have they been out there and have they started yet? No, we haven't started Stark Security because um, we were saying that we would start Starks when we start the rehabbing of the yes. Okay. Is, do we still see a need? Once we start the rehab, we probably will. Has there been anything out there? I see a civil matter, a search, uh, serving a search warrant, and an unknown problem. So we have no other reports of vandalism, theft, break in, people spend the night in unused buildings. <clears throat> no, not at all. Okay, so when we start, start, we're just hiring them to guard our equipment tools is that that's the part of what we right? agree for yes i'm going to cut you off okay, okay. no i'm, I'm done I'm, I'm done yes. questioning okay ma'am may I? um yes uh, fly thank you sorry about that didn't you the floor okay um what i'm saying is that <clears throat> without that next one when we those get stark security out there the plan is to get them going um hopefully as soon as possible Right now, Lakeland is halfway uh, empty. It's, it's barely even got occupants out there. Um, out of 50 units, uh, 17 of them, I guess, is unavailable. So that's almost half. And so I don't see a significant emergency to really put dark security out there. Um, even when, uh, even when they start working on our properties, um, I think it's more need of the security out here now and Boulevard Gardens, as you see all the police calls and reports that comes here, is almost triple what it goes to Lakeland. And so uh, the initial threat or problem right now, 
as after the evictions and the move, people moving out and uh, moving out. But the need for security is high, high right here in Boulevard Gardens. So uh, my suggestion was, I would motion, I put up a motion that we start start security out here in Boulevard Gardens once Lakeland starts to be um, occupied and things be able to um, get fixed on, we m modulate them out to Lakeland Estates. But right now we need security within our uh, housing authority right now currently right here in this area we can neglect this area and uh just only think about lakeland right now lakeland's halfway full every building out there is boarded up we not housing families or anything we quick to put them out but we ain't quick to put them in our plan was to wait for the pna a pan a assessment that assessment took over six to seven months to come back maybe five even four um, now that the assessment back now we're suggesting that we also do a plan of action, which is necessary, I understand. But I don't think it's too much plan of action that needs to be done. I think what we need to do is get families moved in homes. We, we, can, we can say that point of order. Them. You can bring that part up, sir. Hey, 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 you can bring, hey, bring, hey, just, you can bring that up. Just file it, file it, file it. Just file it, file it, file it, file it. Yes, you just file it. I'm on point of order. order. I got three minutes. Point, point of order. You don't have a point of order. Point of order is not to make me shut up. It's not, I'm not trying to get you to paperwork. We are on the agenda. File it, kick me off two-thirds vote. Anyway, Lakeland Estates is unoccupied. We need security here. PNA is back. We need to get families in homes. We quick to put them out of homes, but we gotta put them in homes. We haven't put nobody in a home out there since we started kicking them out. We need to get out there, plan a bitch. We need to get out there, have our maintenance department go in there. Like we, whenever a tenant move out, we gotta go in there, fix the place up, and they get it rent ready and go. That's what we need to start doing. The money, we don't have to fix everything in the whole apartment complex on the housing authority that need to be fixed. The money we have, we go out to Lake and State, start putting families in, them three and four bedroom family homes. That's four, uh, five, just average, four, four in a family, four times 20, that's 60, 80 families we can, we can facilitate before spring and get them homes off the streets and from the next. Your three minutes is up, Commissioner Fly. Um, I want to go on the record to say that, um, make this clear, that the PNA did come back. We, we, we called for a special meeting. We did not have a quorum. We are recalling the special meeting to address that, to address that issue only. It's not on our agenda. Um, Ms. Hutton will also tell you, uh, Mr. Corley is our security guard that works here. Um, just to get to get back on track, Mr. Corley has, uh, I, I believe his hours are 10, to this, uh, this last week. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I have to ask you is, did Mr. Corley provide a report? That's the report that's in your um, board. This okay. is a cause for service, so no answer. Yes. Right. No, it's that, that, that for last month, not this month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. No incidents for that month. Yeah. Out here. Any other questions for uh, the director? Any other questions, Mr. Lane? Um, Commissioner Fly said there were incidents at the nearby here. How come it says there's no incidents if people are seeing police cars? How come there's nothing reported? This for last month. Okay. This I'm month. Just trying to get an athlete. I do. This I'm month. trying to get an athlete. What's going on? This month. He's saying things are happening and there's no incident report. Something's happening and nobody's making it report. This month, the police has been here okay. a lot. And that will be in next month's report. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ms. Hutton, next on the agenda. Um, attorney's report. Uh, the only thing that we have to report is that evictions are proceeding. Uh, of all the evictions that have been filed by the Housing Authority, we did get possession of all of the units. Uh, we're simply awaiting calculation of damages to get damage entries in favor of the Housing Authority against the tenants who were evicted. 
Um, Mr. Any uh, questions for the, the attorney? Yes, Mr. Attorney. How many elections uh, that got um, certified? I mean, that you guys executed, you said one more time, I didn't hear young way over here. No, no problem. Uh, we have done, since we've been with the Housing Authority, I believe it's a, a total of seven evictions. Uh, we did pick some up that were pending uh, prior to us coming on board, so we didn't actually file those, but we did uh, see them through. Uh, and then, I believe that was three, and then our office is final four. I can get you specific numbers on that, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm not, I'm not I appreciate it. I, I heard you say it, but you know, you were over there and you kind of know with it, so I was no problem. But. For the month of January, we had four. Four? Yes. Um, <laughs> Mr. Rags, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Ms. Bingley, I'm sorry. Um, so, with that being said, do you have any pending going forward? Do we have any that are pending uh, court dates? We have court dates pending for the damages hearings, but we don't have any pending court dates for possession of okay. any properties where uh, the House Authority is seeking to remove tenants. Okay, so have you filed any um, future evictions coming up? Have we, do we have any scheduled for court? No, not that, not that I'm aware of. Or at least not that we filed, uh, not that Ms. Hudson sent over to us. Okay. The Housing Authority can um, issue evictions on its own without going through the law office if it's for certain things, um, such as a non-payment of rent and the outstanding amount is under $1,000. Sometimes housing authorities will do mm -hmm. that. I don't know if this housing authority does. But I just didn't want to misspeak and there possibly be an eviction right. that we didn't want. Okay. Thank you. Last question, attorney, if I can. Excuse me, President. Excuse me. Uh, it's up to you. Mr. Um, Mr. Wags. We will be calling for another special meeting here within the next four days. Um, will it, what, is there any time that's good for you? Uh, our office will, will make someone available. Okay. We're here at the House of Georgia's pleasure. Okay. Commissioner Fly. Thank you, sir. Um, so, Tony, uh, <clears throat> Rags. Oh. Rags. Rags. Tony Rags, um, I have a question for you. When you uh, do operations for the Housing Authority or this board, at what direction do you, you do it for uh, the direction of the board and hope as a group? And uh, that as a, us as a group direct you to kind of do things. You don't do things from an individual standpoint, do you? Well, no, I'm just our, our firm represents the board. board. So, okay. um, so if the board were to ask us uh, mm -hmm. to do something, we would, we would do that. Um, obviously, we have conversations with the chairman since he is the representative of the mm -hmm. board. We have conversations with the executive director, who is your sole employee, mm -hmm. uh, to match the day-to-day -day operations of the housing authority. Mm -hmm. And when we get those uh, directives, we do you have uh, possible conversations with the commissioner? We have con we have conversations with all commissioners. I mean, um, the the free conversation. That you're speaking of, you say, "Well, I have a conversation with Hudine and the chairman because they represent the board." So I'm saying, within the board, do you have a conversation with the commission? Well, I, I could, yeah. You I could have okay, okay, okay. That's all. That's all. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Guy. Thank you, good guy, man. <laughs> Next on the agenda, staff reports. Um, the staff reports is in your um, packet. Uh, we did look at the finance. Is there anything you want to add to the staff reports in the sudden? Um, at this time, we do have um, our vacancy is now at 37 vacant units overall. So uh, that is where we're at for vacancies. That's including all our properties. Any questions for Ms. Sutton in regards to this? Mr. Vincent, I'm looking at the a CPA listing and audit for oh, us. That, is, that, is that current and that's going to begin? Yeah, that's coming up. Yes. Sir. Okay, from Velma Buck. When is that going to start? Um, in your packet is the 
uh, engagement letter from the state and their proposal letter, and we it's on our list for new business to. Um, no, I didn't put it in the new business. I'm sorry. It's behind the Vermont mm -hmm. Butler director's report. Now it's supposed to be this. I'm sorry. Um, because it's over the threshold, I needed to have the approval to sign this um, so we could get the audit stuff. Okay. That's why I see you. Okay. When is that beginning? Um, as soon as you sign, he will start gathering the information. It's not due to June 30th. Well, it's due? June 30th. Okay, to be complete. June 30th, it has to be in the system. We get points on the audit, and it's part of the FAST. And so it has to be in the system and um, sent to HUD and everything by okay. June 30th. It's right. a deadline right. date on there. Yeah. It does say on page 8 that they expect to begin March 6th. Okay. But, and be done by May 26th. Mm -hmm. The dates that they said, so. Okay. Would you get page number? Page 8. eight. Down uh, it's at the bottom. Okay. Okay. At the bottom. Oh, I see on this one. Okay. All right. All right. I will entertain them. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, no, I'm just. I will entertain a motion if uh, to add this to the special meeting agenda if someone wants to recommend that so we can get this over with. So, well, this is not ours, right? No. This, I, this need, is Andy. This I need the approval to, to from move you forward. all to just move forward. That's we all. Do that we can do that okay. now. We can do a okay. motion now. Okay. I thought you said this was over the threshold. It's and over. Right. Yes, the, thresh the threshold. The procurement threshold. I have to bring it to the board. For because we need to spend ten thousand dollars, five thousand up front. Mm. Right. But it, we have to say we agree, and then it's got to go to Indianapolis and wait for their agreement. No, no not for the. Uh, no. Not for oh, not for all. I'm motion we approve it. Right. I'm sorry for holding everything up. I'm, I'm following you now. <laughs> I'm way back there, but I'm following. I'm also we approve it. The second, would, would you like to withdraw your motion right now? All right. Oh, I thought he, he motioned. Right, so to we motion for a special meeting. Yeah, they have a special meeting. Now. Thank you. Uh, there's a second on Mr. Fly's motion. A roll call, uh -huh. Mr. Sutton. Mr. McCormick. Aye. Mr. Vincent. Aye. Stacy Benning. Aye. Robert Looney, Looney, uh, and Kenneth Fly. Yay. Five to zero. Pass. Well, is there something I need to sign before I leave today? No, I think I just it requires my signature. Okay. Next on the agenda, Mr. Rags. I believe is that we need a update on seeing if you guys found out anything about the agreement for the demolition of the Harborside Homes, the contract that was entered into, I hope was entered into, by Michigan City Housing Authority, the City of Michigan City, HUD, and anyone else that's involved with the dem uh, demolition of the units that was located on Michigan Boulevard. Point of order, do we skip stuff, make, make committee reports, because we have a, a subcommittee, a whole meeting in here last month with the residents. I will, I will withdraw that question at this time. Ms. Hudden, next on the agenda. Subcommittee report. Please. Yes, with the subcommittee reports, I'm chairman on the residential security board, and we have a meeting here, a meeting here at Lakeland, I mean, uh, here at Boulevard Gardens. We had a good turnout with the residents. The residents was very informative. It really wasn't nothing too um, much different than our last uh, meeting with them the previous month about security, the lights, um, people hanging out around the buildings and stuff, those of that nature, nothing substantial. But we, we keep having great turnouts um, when we have these resident meetings. So with that being said, I would like to make sure we keep the meetings here in their backyard because it's really easy for them to get to and be ascertained to. Um, we do have to get a meeting set up for Lakeland. We was trying to wait for the, um, the uh, property manager to come back in from being sick. So we can at least have her be introduced to the Lakeland community also. Um, President McCormick is on that resident board. Um, 
Commissioner Benning is on that board. And uh, with that subcommittee, I will say, we are very active. We are slowed and we was a little stagnant for a couple months when we took off for our uh, training. But we got back, got back on the ball and right before we left, we had a meeting with the residents. Um, finna plan another meeting with the residents in Lakeland. Um, so far as that, that subcommittee that I'm chair on, I, I see us going forward. Um, so far as us commissioners that's on that um, subcommittee, we, we're we vibing and we're vibrant and considerate and passionate with what we're doing. So that's our report on the meeting that we have with the residents. Any other subcommittee reports? I will have something to say about the subcommittee report. I will. I am going to take myself off that subcommittee, and if we can find somebody to take my place, that will be great. Um, I will also do realignments to the subcommittees. Yeah, we will go back and redo them since we have new board members and um, putting um, people in the appropriate position or anyone who wants to be on those subcommittees. So effective immediately, I will no longer be on the um, the tenants um, board meetings or committee. I'm subcommittee. I'm sorry. Is there any other subcommittee reports? Yes, I would like to entertain Mr. Vincent. Would you like to come on? I'll make it appropriate for you when we make the dates and times. I think it would be a great addition to meet a lot of people in the area. I, I feel like we have some new folks. Oh, maybe maybe on. they would like to, Let's go. to set up. Since we don't have everybody here. Okay, so that's cool. I hope we try to keep yeah. with at least three on there before we can right. continue because we have a meeting immediately coming up in Lakeland that we do have to talk to the people about. I do appreciate the thought, though. Yeah, I, I think right. that's probably the most important yeah. subcommittee because yes, that's yes. who we're here for, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And I will, um, it's my responsibility to make sure that it's taken care of. Um, I might put that in on our special. I will add that to our special meeting agenda and make sure that we get the appointments of the subcommittees uh, organized. Um, now we're back to new business. New business. Well, the next subcommittee, right? The um, the Wi-Fi subcommittee. I, uh, I'm on that subcommittee too. We did action on that with the lady that came in. Can we know where we at with that? So far, I, 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 for the tenants, Ms. Head. I will ask again. Is there any more subcommittee reports? Yes. Can we know where we at with the subcommittee report? For the Wi-Fi? Yeah, for the Wi-Fi that I went hard for and got the lady to come way down here from Chicago land to um, come to our board meeting. Do we got an update on that? Is we facilitating? Yeah, um, for the Wi-Fi, we're waiting on the IT to give us the quote on how much the cost will be for the fiber. Thank you very much. That's the only subcommittees I'm on. I'm very active with. Next on the agenda, Ms. Hutton. New business. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Ryan. <Rance. laughs> now we're there at the demolition of uh, the, the agreement or contract that was made. Have we found it? Have we have, do we have any progress? We haven't completed uh, all the work that needs to be done over at HLF, uh, but we do anticipate completing that uh, relatively quickly and we will be uh, sending a memorandum out to the board. Okay. Uh, we think that might be the best way to get that information out. Any other questions of the attorney? With that being said, can we make sure that's on the pending item list? Yes. Next. Approval of the trust passing policy. And this is based on uh, Mr. Rags helping Ms. Hutton on this. Uh, after listening to the tenants, saying that they had people walking into their house, stuff that was going on. Um, they feel that they have no security. Um, and one of the biggest problems that we've seen was the trespassing. Um, with that being said, we uh, Ms. Hutton put together a resolution and I'll let Ms. Hutton read the resolution at this point. Okay, the resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Housing Authority of the City of Michigan City, Indiana is to approve the no trespassing policy for the Housing Authority. Whereas the Housing Authority of the City of Michigan City, Indiana is to, to provide the safe and peaceful enjoyment of the authority properties for all residents, their guests, and employees of the authority. Whereas the lease signed, whereas the lease signed by each tenant 
makes the tenant responsible for the conduct of the tenant's guest. Now, therefore, be resolved in keeping with this policy. It sometimes becomes necessary and prudent to bar or ban persons from the property. Be it further resolved, persons banned under this policy should be prohibited from entering upon any authority property for any reason. And we'd like to adopt this this day and put to vote. Any discussion? Uh, if you looked in your packet, it is the actual <clears throat> policy. The policy also has um, terms of ban based on the different incidents. And um, we are going to get the forms um, for what, where you get four copies. And um, one will go to the person that you're banning. The next one would go to the police department. One goes to the property management, and then the other one would be in the file. Mm. So, um, as um, the executive director and the property manager would be the people that ban, ban those people from the properties. Yes, sir. I would just like to add one thing to this, um, Mr. Rags. I, I think it's crucial that the people that live here knows who's on the no trespass list. Right. If we don't let them know, then they're gonna have an argument saying nobody notified them. So I, I hope that we make sure that list is in the public location and all and, uh, and also in all of our buildings. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna have, um, Pat, if you read the um, ban policy, we're to give it to them monthly uh, with the updates on them. Chairman, sure. maybe the mail to chairman. You know, just so they can't act like they never got it. Maybe the mail just, so, just so you uh, know, uh, Sheriff Fly, is he talking about the person to be trespassed? No, just a list of who was on the trespass list. Like send it out to our tenants that possibly can be, you know, they can't get it in the mail. They open it and say, oh, this is the new housing authority trespass list updated. Make it right in the mail. That That's a possibility. But I, that may be not, well, let me say this. There's nothing legally wrong with that. Okay? So that's more of an operational thing. Uh, and we're here to, for the legality portion, not the operation portion. Well, Ms. Hutton, how, are you, how did you and the property manager, how, you say you're going to contact them every month, notify them every month of the uh, trespassing, okay. anybody had updated? How, how were you planning on doing that? We plan on giving every um, resident an updated list. We're going to either take it to their house or give it, mail it to them. Yeah. Okay. We plan on making sure it's posted so they will see who those people are. After this meeting, it's, it's important that we get this signed and done. Commissioner Fly, you have a question? Yes, sir. I said, Ms. Hunt, do they give us any power to stop anything? I mean, no, it's the roles and duties of commissioners is limited when it comes to day-to-day -day operations. But if we see something really extravagant happening in the area that we kind of govern, are we possibly able to? No. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No. And is that correct, Mr. Yeah, yeah, you were there trying to make sure. Oh, I'm I'm somebody asked me. I'm going to make sure you get it. I try to stop you. I'm about to jump out on him and say, get on out of here. Yeah. You know? no. no, no. So, um, as commissioners, you're in a very, uh, in a very direct role with the Housing Authority. Uh, and one of that, and, and that role is not considered an employee of the Housing Authority. Mm -hmm. Right. If you look at the policy, it specifically states employees of the housing authority, so that would not include uh, the commissioners. Commissioner Fly, as the resident commissioner, you will have probably more contact That's what with the day-to-day -day of the authority than the rest of the commissioners. Mm -hmm. But just like a resident, um, the best thing for you to do, if you see someone who is doing something they shouldn't do, is to contact the proper authorities as opposed to getting in, involved yourself. Because I'm with that snitch stuff now. Yeah, y'all see me address <laughs> <laughs> any, any other questions? Any other questions for the director? Yes, um, I just had a couple of language. Uh, it reads Indiana to approved. I assume that should be approved. Present tense. The, uh, the title the resolution of the Board of Commissioners of Housing. It says, uh, Mr. Yeah, City, City Indiana. To approved. To, to, approve. Approve. to approve, I'm sorry. And it says, whereas the lease, signed lease. Right, I saw that. that one of those should not be yeah. either the signed <laughs> lease or the lease signed by each tenant. <laughs> it should be the lease signed by each tenant. Okay. With corrections may be, being made, I will entertain a motion. I make a motion to accept the resolution Second. for the um, 
trespass policy. Second. No trespass policy. With that being said, um, on the roll call, Ms. Hutton? Rodney McCormick? Aye. Michael Vincent? Aye. Stacey Benny? Aye. Robert Long? Aye. And Kelly Fly? Aye. Pending item, pending litigation, what is that? Why is that still there? Uh, unfinished business? Uh, the attorney has to give us the. Um, and so Rags, the update that I want to give is, as far as pending litigation is concerned. I saw this on a, a couple other agendas, and anytime there's pending litigation, uh, and this is the reason that we, we've left this on here, so I don't remember to talk about it. Um, anytime there's pending litigation, it would be best if we did not discuss it at a public meeting. Uh, under the executive session statute, that's one of the particular things that we can use executive sessions for. Uh, whereas the housing authority is a public entity and its business is always public, there are certain things that the legislature understands that there are conversations you wouldn't have, want to have in a public space. Pending litigation is one of them. As the lawyer, I saw it on a previous agenda uh, and wanted to just discuss that in front of the board. Anytime there's pending litigation, uh, we would ask that uh, the executive director notify the board and ask that the chairman call a special, a special meeting, which would be an executive session, just to discuss that pending litigation. Mm -hmm. Any questions for the attorney on that? Hearing none, public comments. Anybody from the public would like to speak? State your name, address, please. Uh, Kevin Harmon, 421 East 6th Street. I'm just concerned about the, uh, you know, we get deliveries from uh, uh, either FedEx or Amazon. They can take it to your drawer. I've had things delivered to my apartment where you go to the side door and just drop it off there on the bottom floor. I had a man that I ordered last week. Fortunately, I got a neighbor recognizing my package and put it in front of my door. So is there a way that we can ensure that we can get our packages secure? Well, I mean, I don't know if there's something that you have something to do with or not. Not really, but if you want to start having it dropped off here between 8 and 4, we'll take it and then give it to you. Okay. And if I may make a suggestion, if you don't mind. Um, when you do in FedEx or UPS, you can ask for a special. Uh, um, you ask for a special delivery or uh, circumstances, and like she said, you can have it delivered straight here, and you can come pick it up from the main office. Yeah, that way, they ask an expensive item delivered. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Then you cost it like you got a dollar. Right. Okay. So Miss Hutton gave you permission. So if you want to use uh, 621 Michigan Boulevard. I didn't do that, or I probably just use the alcohol that bit. So I'm okay. kind of think of it. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I was one to make you aware of that situation. So. All right. Yeah. Any other public comments? We're gonna go with commissioner comments, and we're gonna start with Mr. Vincent and work our way around. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I just want to make a comment that when I first became involved with this, it, the waters were pretty muddy. I mean, it was hard to see. We didn't know where we were at. We didn't know where we were going. We didn't know where we stood. But I, I think slowly over the months, it's becoming a little clearer. We have a full board now, pretty happy about that. Uh, I just look forward to working with everybody in a positive role. I know I, for one, came on the board and there was some anger issues from, from me because I seen where we were at and, and I wasn't happy with it and I was a little bit too hard-handed and, and a little temperamental and, and that I'm putting that to the side because now I see we got, we got a path of where we're going. We, we have good attorney uh, helping us out, you know about the housing authority and I think everybody here wants positive things to happen. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that heavy handed high temper mode into something more positive and start smiling a little bit more and helping and, and for uh, Mrs. Hutton uh, if, if there's anything I can do please reach out, call, I'll help wherever I can, wherever my my uh, role is and I'll help with advice or put my working shoes on or whatever I can do to help you. That's what I'm here for. And, and I just want to move things forward. Also, I heard comment from the attorney. I think us as commissioners, if we get phone calls from residents that there's issues, 
we should forward that immediately and not go visit the issue out on site. There's been some power outages and things like that that I hear directly from the commissioners about, I was on site and I took care of this and I called it, it's, it's not our position to go out and visit with the residents and, uh, and find out what's going on. It, it, it's our position to inform them where to go and I think we've got an emergency contact listed and just make sure that that's up and public for our residents to call those numbers and those numbers only and not reach out directly to commissioners. It's, that, that's all I have. Thank you. Ms. Binney? Um, I'm going to piggyback off of what you said initially as far as um, telling Ms. Hutton that if there's anything I can do to act in the best interest of this whole mission of what we were appointed for, um, you know you can feel free to reach out to me. And um, there's only one other thing that I would like to do is to revisit um, the time that we meet. I don't have a problem with the third, is it the third Thursday? Fourth meet? Fourth, fourth Thursday. But I'm not sure what everybody else's schedule is, but I always have to take off. I, I attend during, and I don't have a problem because I'm here to do what I'm supposed to do. But if we could, um, Revisit or just consider meeting on a special meeting uh, at four o'clock because um, I always have to take off to attend the meetings, mm -hmm. and I know sometimes we have other meetings also. So just to revisit that, if possible. If not, then I'll do what I have to do. Yeah. Ms. Benning, we will put you on a special agenda so you can address that uh, address that concern. Anything else, Ms. Looney? I just want to say. I'm happy to be here, but I can help out in any way. So as a new commissioner, I just want to soak things in and find out what's going on and see what I can do to help. And uh, I did have a suggestion. If you're having a problem with your uh, deliveries, at least for Amazon, they've got those boxes like over in front of Sable Lot. You can have it delivered there. Yeah. And then that way you don't have to worry about it getting misplaced or, or somebody else picking them up. Because I've seen the same thing happen all over the place where they just drop it at the door of the building instead of at the whole, you know, right in front of your apartment. Anybody can go in the, the entryway there and grab it. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I've done in the past, just to make sure that I know a high dollar item is not going to disappear. Because they'll drop it right on the sidewalk. They, we, we can't really control what that extra UPS does with the package. Wish we could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's all. And welcome aboard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that you finally got the last seat filled. Commissioner Fly. Yes. Um, with my commission comment, it's a little bit, a little bit sensitive, but I, I, I had a situation in my area that um, it's a lot of gun violence that happened, uh, a lot of shots fired, um, no casualties. Um, so the other day, missing a special meeting, I did come and I did want to participate, but emotionally I wasn't able to. So I just want the board to know I, I, I tried my best to try to make it to the meeting and I'm not trying to be an attendance prone, you know. So um, that's why I at least try to attempt it. And then also I want to let the board members know, my intentions of being in this board is not to harass, advise, or purposely have personal conflicts with any one of my co-members or fellow commissioners. My intentions is to say solid, say mindful, and to be independent thinking and logical within what I think you know should be adhered to not saying that my way is the right way, the only way, or, you know, whatever. But I do have my justifications of the things I say, which I don't explain them all the time because I don't, I don't have time. We only have an hour board meeting. And I'm not going to take much time here. Now, I just want you guys to know that I'm, I'm fully uh, competent. I'm, I'm aware of what's fully going on. Me and the chairman, we... we um, we we alphas, you know, uh, and that isn't bad. That ain't a bad thing. So I'm not gonna discourage that. I I, I encourage him to stay an alpha because I am. And uh, you guys be great. Let's go. That's it. With my comments, I like to just say that <clears throat> for some reason we have tenants who like to call commissioners. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fly being one and myself being another. Um, I'm not going to discourage any, anyone from calling me, but I have always recommended, and I've done it in front of Ms. Hutton and everyone in here, 
There is a chain of command that must be followed. I have not deviated from that, not one bit, nor will I deviate from it. But if I happen to be in Lakeland or any other, and I will not apologize for any of this, if I see there is a problem, I will call NIPSCO, I will call law enforcement agency, whoever I see fit that needs to be called, I will call them. I pray that we will work on making sure the, tenant, the, the tenants have the emergency numbers. I recommended a, a, a magnet that goes on the refrigerator. Um, I, I received several phone calls again within the last two or three days, and I gave them the phone number. Um, I didn't give them your number, but I gave them the maintenance person number, and I will continue to do that. Um, I don't see nothing wrong with any of that, um, but I do understand uh, part of your um, comment, Mr. Vincent. And then as far as running the meeting, um, I'm not here to try to make enemies. We need to be professional on this board. It's not about bucking anybody. Uh, everyone has a right to the attorney. I said this before, for some reason, uh, we just don't get it. Um, I don't meet with Ms. Hutton in, in private. Um, when I do come in, we talk to each other. And that's the working relationship that I've been trained that we must have. Um, anything that we try to do, we will always bring it before the board. Mm -hmm. um, we have not deviated from that as well. And there's times we need the attorney. And if you need the attorney, I'm not, I will never discourage anyone from reaching out to the attorney. Ms. Hutton's door is open. I think maybe I might want to hear from her. But every time she needed me or I needed her, the door was open and it was no problem. So with that being said, um, I hope that we do better with our decorum and we show every, each other the respect that uh, each one of us deserve. After all, you know, this is basically volunteer and the boss is not me, Ms. Hutton, or the, um, the commissioners, nor the attorney. The boss is the tenants. We work for the tenants, and that's what we need to stay focused on. Thank you. I will entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Motion to <laughs> meet adjourned. Okay, I'm going to make sure.